Hi, my name is Brady Steed. I graduated in December of 2014 from Letourneau and I am a solution specialist at Deloitte Consulting. So I'm a software developer and I take whatever the client communicates to me, that they'll communicate a problem to me and then I have to figure out how we can represent that in the software and how we can solve their problems. So I really start by talking to the customer, develop a solution that I think that will solve the problem and then once they approve it then I write the code and you know test it and demo it to them. I really had a sense of peace and I felt like the Holy Spirit was calling me to Orlando and to this company. I think that everything we do in life is a calling from God. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult or it isn't that exciting sometimes, but God is always doing something uh, through your situation and I really have seen evidence of you know, lives being changed, people being affected around me uh, in my day-to-day -day work. Since I've joined the company, I've met a lot of people outside of the office that I actually ended up working with. Uh, a lot of good Christian people that we uh, stay in touch with and we go out to lunch. And so there is a good community of Christians here, even though most of the people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis are not believers. Whenever I go to meetings or whenever I talk to customers and stuff, uh, I just have to rely on um, what I know about the Bible and on God's help to give me strength to go through the day and to live with integrity and to show people mercy and grace. And those are things that uh, are, are very rare in the, the secular world. And when people see that, uh, they notice that I'm different. And I've had a lot of comments and people coming up to me and asking me, you know, why are you different? What, you know, why do you excel in these different areas? And it's an opportunity for me to tell them about God and about uh, what I believe and why I do the things that I do. One thing that I've really found that helps me is that in the morning, I definitely have to spend time in the Word and spend time in prayer uh, because that really gets me focused. And on days that I don't do that, um, I have a harder time at work. And my job is not always easy and it's not always fun, um, but if I keep Christ in the center of my focus and His service as my purpose, then even if the day is difficult, even if people don't get along with me or like what I'm talking about or you know my suggestions, if I make mistakes, then that peace and joy is something that, that stands out and it's lasting. A lot of the challenges that I see arise from difficult problems that come up occasionally that I have to balance, you know, do I want to do this the right way or do I want to do this the easy way? Because it's really easy to have your integrity challenged whenever different situations come up where the, the customer doesn't quite agree with the solution that I want. Uh, so sometimes I'll suggest something and they don't like it and there's a temptation to kind of push back and, and force it on them or to manipulate them with my, you know, insider information about what's, um, you know, how technology works. And I can just say, well, what you want to do is going to be difficult for me. So I'm just going to tell you that it can't be done. It's something that we have to avoid as Christians that we need to keep our integrity because that's what God calls us to. Spiritually, Laterno was such a great encouragement for me. It gave me a foundation in actually studying the Bible and professionally to go out into the workplace. Our professors, I remember doing so many like real world application problems, especially the senior projects that uh, helped me to learn to work well with a team. And that's something that's really valuable in the workplace today is being able to build professional relationships with people to uh, get along with them even if your personalities clash. Enabled me to really go and make my faith my own. Uh, gave me a, a passion to read God's word and to follow his law. And um, he's still transforming my life today, but Laterno was one of those big foundational moments that really caused me to um, reorient my life around the gospel. C
comfort can be revitalizing it and it can be refreshing but there's a point where you have to reevaluate and say like does this thing still bring me joy does it still add value to my life and if it doesn't then you need to think about uh, whether you should let it go uh, for instance I, I canceled my Netflix subscription and got rid of just a, a bunch of stuff that I bought that I, I didn't want that didn't make me happy and spent more time like in the mornings in prayer and reading my Bible um, my life just suddenly became really full and even though I didn't I don't have as much stuff anymore I think that life is a lot more uh, valuable now like I'm not wasting uh, days doing things that don't really matter I really appreciate the small things and so when I think about my greatest success I would say I have made a reputation of being somebody that comes in uh, in the morning energized and excited and joyful and even when things don't go my way that I still have grace about it and uh, so just being known in the office for somebody that's really positive and who comes up with solutions instead of letting themselves get down in the moment is really a big accomplishment. So for the millennials entering the workplace, I think that you shouldn't undersell yourself. Humble beginnings aren't something that you should, that should be despised as the Bible says, that um, you, you have a fresh perspective, um, a, a good education with experience in a lot of cutting edge areas that you have things to bring to the table. Learn to approach problems from unconventional directions because a lot of people who have a lot of experience in the workplace get stuck in a rut after a while. So if you can bring a fresh perspective, come up with a new idea that no one's ever thought of before, then that can really uh, bring new life into your organization. In any time I can get back to campus, it just really br brightens my day. Homecomings have always been great to, to go back and get to see the students and see the very unique culture that Letourneau has uh, because a lot of the other universities that I've heard about, they don't have stories like we have at Letourneau. <laughs> so uh, just getting to reminisce about that and uh, talk to all of the people that I still am in communication with from Letourneau uh, is really great. It helps me to not take life too seriously. <laughs> Thanks for listening. For more resources to help you take your faith to work, visit our website at www.centerforfaithandwork.com.